These men are workers at a mill that produces jute, a plant fiber used to make bags and sacks. At one time, exports were the largest source of foreign exchange for this developing country. In the 1950s and the 60s, almost 80% of the world's jute was produced here. But the golden age of what was once known as the golden fiber of Bangladesh is long gone. Previous issues was very big, uh, the wider use, but recently it has uh, narrower. Its uh, use is becoming narrow. This is uh, due to uh, uh, ignorance of the peoples about the jute. By the 1980s, manufacturers were turning to plastic. Synthetic materials like polythene are much cheaper to make, but are far less environmentally friendly. But in 2010, the Bangladesh government banned the use of plastic bags, a move welcomed by environmental activists and jute producers, who briefly saw a boost in sales. We are now using so many diversified products. Previous, jute was used only to make the gani bag, gani clothes. Nowadays, the peoples are using to make their shirt, sweating, bed cover, sofa set cover, even in the car also. It didn't last for long. Despite the ban, Bangladeshis are finding it hard to kick the plastic habit. This is only one of several spots outside the capital, Dhaka, where plastic bags are dumped and not disposed of properly. The plastic piles up on the roadsides and on riverbeds, unlike jute bags, which decompose within a matter of months. On the outskirts of the capital, Dhaka, this sprawling landfill has turned into a small network of plastic hills. Because there's still so much plastic use, it poses a huge problem for us in terms of decomposition of waste. Not only does the plastic not decompose, it slows down the decomposition of the rest of the waste in our landfills. Abdullah Haroon says there has been some progress made by the ban. He claims the use of plastic has been cut by half in the past four years. But he's also the first to admit that what has been accomplished isn't enough, and that the fight to end plastic use in the country is an uphill battle. Mahir Sattar, Al Jazeera, Norshingdi, Bangladesh.